Those are my parents. We're stalking my parents. Yep, stalking the parents. Hey guys, it's Anna from Kaiju Bites. So today we're going to do a food review. Uh, when we were in Raleigh, North Carolina, I had told my parents that, hey, we're going to North Carolina. And, um, you know, Raleigh is about two hours um, from their house. And I was like, we're here for a convention. Did you want to go get dinner? And my dad's like, yeah, that's actually perfect. We were going to go to the Korean market um, or like the global market. Uh, that was, I guess, really close to Raleigh, or, or in Raleigh, I'm not sure. And so I told my dad, well, I heard about this place called The Pit. Have you heard about it? And he's like, yeah, I've heard about it. I was like, yeah, apparently the Bo's, like, you know, they are, I've heard that they have some of the best barbecue in North Carolina. And my dad was like, well, that's a big boast. And so he was like, we need to test this boast. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. So I made a reservation. I made a reservation through Open Table. And I'm, I don't know if you know about Open Table. This is not affiliated. Uh, but I like it because I can get points that would translate. Like once you get enough points, you get gift card. I haven't redeemed mine yet. I do have enough for like, I think a $25 one that I'll probably use for our trip in in uh, at Disney because there's some Disney Spring restaurants that do open table um, but uh, yeah so I made a reservation through open table and I definitely do recommend a reservation especially on the weekend it was it was packed and like I heard her after I checked in that like the the wait was like an hour an hour and a half um, it didn't look that busy but I think it was deceiving because like when you walk in there's like a living room not a living room, a dining area, and then to the left is the bar area, and then it goes, it keeps going back. So I couldn't see how f deep that other dining room is, but apparently they had a pretty long wait. And plus it was Saturday um, night, and you know, with the convention being local, and and you know, it's it's a hopping Saturday night, so you know, an hour and a half wait at a at a really good restaurant is is kind of the norm. So I, but I had the reservation, so we actually got sat even before our reservation time, because she, I think she'd wanted everybody to be with us, but she just sat us anyways. So our, our waitress came over, and I told her, like, I'm waiting for my parents, as you saw from the, the intro clip, and after they came in, um, she gave us a basket of, um, actually she gave it before they came, because I think I, we started eating it before. It was biscuits, and underneath like hidden were these little hush puppies um the biscuits were a little overdone like they left them in the oven just a tad too long so they were kind of hard um i mean they were still soft inside but the outer it was a little too crunchy um uh, but the hush puppies were perfect i loved I, I mean i love a good hush puppy but they were actually like perfect and uh oh before when i was sitting at the bar waiting for my parents i actually got a um Oh, what do they call it? A back porch tea. I think that's what it was. It was so good. It was so refreshing. It was. It was like just. It was. It just tasted like the South. Like just a good sweet tea, but it was spiked. Um, it was super tasty. It was super good. And uh, yeah, so that was a good start. The you know basket and the tea, and um, I was really hankering for some ribs. I don't tend to eat ribs, um, like, cause like, like the office, they actually go to either missions a lot or, or what's the other place? Famous Dave's. Um, but I don't like, like eating ribs at work <laughs> and because ribs are messy. Uh, but you know what? It was evening. I had no problems with eating ribs because I mean like, well, they have wet knives for one and then two, like. It was, we're, we're, we're on a trip. So I got the ribs, I got pulled pork. Um, I, for some reason, and usually I balance my starch and my veggies well, but for some reason I saw sweet potato fries and I saw candy yams and I, boom, I was like double sweet potatoing it. Um, <laughs> my fiance is like, yeah, I was wondering about that. I was like, I didn't think this through, but the candy, the candy yams were really good and the sweet potato fries were really good. He got um, brisket and, I don't know, you'll see it on his plate. I forgot what the other stuff he got, but he definitely got, I remember the brisket because 
that was probably the best brisket I've ever had. Mind you, I haven't been to Austin, Texas, so, you know, there might be, you know, I've heard Austin, Texas is the place for brisket, but it is the best brisket that I've had in my life so far. It was just, it just melted in your mouth. It was like butter. I was like, man, I should have gotten that. And, you know, it was good. Like, I think Chris's only critique about it was that it was just, he seemed like it was like, it, was, it seemed a little little like portion for the brisket, like everything else portion wise seemed fine except for the brisket. Um, I know my dad got uh, fried chicken, um, I can't remember, and you'll see that you'll, in the clip you'll see each of the entrees. Uh, I think pretty much we just got like the two meat, um, I'm not sure what they called on the menu, but it was like two meats and you get two sides. And uh, the, the ribs are like an extra charge. Um, and I think my mother pretty much got the same as me except for she got like a different side dish. And I have to say, like, I've tried, I tried, like, a little bit of my dad's, except for his fried chicken, I didn't have any fried chicken, I think I had a little bit of my mom's, and I had Chris's brisket, everything tasted so good. Um, definitely no complaints with this place, uh, except for the, the little hard biscuits. Um, so yeah, and uh, I regret not doing dessert, because there was a chocolate place across the street, and, you know, I was like, let's just go to the chocolate place and have dessert. That turned out to be a bust because all their chocolate was like really super bitter. Like I don't, I'm 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 like borderline with dark chocolate, and their theirs are just really super bitter. And I just was like I couldn't deal with it. <laughs> um, so I was like, oh, cause the the hand pie looked good. Um, I, and, well, I mean I'm a sucker for pies in general, so I I regret not getting any of their dessert. But if we're down in Raleigh next time, we're definitely getting dessert because. I don't want to miss out and because you know dessert is the best part of a meal <laughs> but I definitely give this place five kaiju bites it was excellent service was good food was good drinks were good I mean there was like like nothing about this place I felt was negative um, parking is a little weird but they have valet that's free um, you have to uh, it's a tip so you just tip your valet um, and so I forgot how much I think we tipped him ten because we didn't have smaller bill than a 10 uh, but I mean that's probably what we would have paid for parking anyways um, well, I think parking is like five to seven dollars in that area so it was it was okay um, but yeah so I I love this place I really would like to go back especially for that brisket that brisket was so good but until next time guys I'll see you later bye